Welcome to the Fireblade build log. The Fireblade is a speeder, it's the model you can see here, and it has a wingspan of about 1 meter 44. It's a speeder, as you can see. Its maximum takeoff weight is 2.6 kilograms, and it was built by Alexander Grimm. So you can imagine that this is, has to take quite a lot of abuse and I think it's very nice to, to look at a build log of, of such a plane. So this is now in, in Alex's place and those are the molds for the wings. You can see that it's already painted. Alex is using IMC paint from HP Textiles. And uh, where it's black now, there's, there's actually clear coating. You can also see some white, and this is um, if Alex is using some very bright colors. To get bright colors, he's, he's using white behind, for example, yellow. And he has waited at least 12 hours after spray painting this. So now he's cutting um, his shell, which is Arex. It's 1.2 millimeter Arix, and he's using a template which was uh, which he has CNC milled himself, just for for the for the shell. You want your shell to be a little bit smaller than your mold. So here he's um, cutting his aramid. This is for the hinges. It's for the elevator hinge and for the hinges for the wing. For cutting, he's using special scissors because with uh, normal scissors you, you won't you won't have uh, any success on aramid. It will it will basically run away from your blade. So this has very small teeth, and the the hinges are two centimeters wide. So here you can see everything you need. You can see the spread towel for the wing and for the elevator. You can see the Arex for the shell. And you can see the peel ply and also the hinges from Aramid. So now Alex is preparing rovings. He will put resin on those rovings. And those are rovings for the leading edge of the wing and the elevator. So he's, he's here, he's measuring his resin. Um, please keep in mind the, your safety when, when working with resin. Um, there, are, there are quite a lot of bad allergies on this. So at least please wear gloves. And um, also other, some people are using respiratory protection. Alex is not using it because um, there's there's a lot of air going through the place where where he's working at. Yeah, he's he's actually telling me a story about a guy who has a really bad allergy. So um, where uh, even even if this this person is wearing gloves, he he can still see the the allergy behind uh, behind the gloves. So now he's mixing his his resin. Make sure to always mix it very, very thoroughly. And now he's putting a lot of rev resin on the, on the rovings. He wants to soak them really, really well. This is also resin and he's using a white brush to apply it to the, to the uh, surface. And as you can see, he's using a lot of resin in this. This is 1.5 times the amount you would actually need uh, telling from the, from the fabric. So this is more than you would actually need, but he's using it to get a really, really nice surface. He's trying to, to avoid air bubbles in, in his, in his uh, resin coating here. It's 
So he's doing this on both sides of the wing molds and also on the elevator molds, of course. Now he's mixing micro balloons and cotton flocks with, with resin. So this is to thicken the, the resin and what, what he's doing it with this is uh, that he's rounding out the edges that are in his molds. He's also applying some of this mix to the server covers he has in his molds because they have very sharp edges too. And why you want to round out those sharp edges is that your fabric will not go uh, into those edges very well. Now he's putting the rovings into the leading edge of the wing and he's making sure that it really is a tight fit. So you don't want it to overlap with the leading edge, but precisely end at the leading edge. If you put it too high, you will have to cut the roving or part of the roving later with a knife, which is not so much fun. It's doing the same for the elevator. And then he's putting in the spread towel and the spread towel has two sides. One side with a fixation and the other side, which is meant to be the outside, which is now at, at the bottom. So it's just using his hands to apply some pressure to get it into place. And as you can see, it is cut fairly, fairly uh, to, to the size of the molds. That's because he doesn't like to cut it with a knife later. He doesn't like to have any overlap. So for the wings, he has two parts per wing and he will, as you will see later, there's an overlap in the middle. You can see some bubbles here in the resin, which will be removed later. Now he's applying some resin to the, to the spread towel just uh, in the area where, where we will have the overlap with the other side. So this is the second part of the spread towel. As you can see, thanks to the fixation, the spread towel is very, very easy to handle as fabric. The wings are done. And he, he's, uh, now he waited for about 10 minutes for the resin to, to soak the spread towel. And now he's using a rubber roller to, um, yeah, basically to, to spread the, the resin a bit because it, it will flow uh, just as, as gravity intends uh, into the middle of the wing. And so he's, he's trying to spread it out evenly for the next step. The next step is a specialty of Alex. He's using a hot air gun to, to heat up uh, first the leading edge, then the trailing edge, and then the rest. And he's, he's heating up the resin a little bit, just so uh, in a way that he can still touch it, so not too hot. You really want, by the way, you really want to wear respiratory protection for this, because if you are um, applying too much heat, you will get some nasty gases from that. And with heating up, he will remove the last air bubbles from the resin, so from the surface. And also, maybe you can see it here, he removes the fixation that is on the spread towel that fixes the different fibers on the spread towel. And as you, as you can see that uh, sometimes in the areas where, where he already removed the fixation, the fibers are moving. And in, in the areas where he did not apply heat, there's no movement. Same goes for the elevator. 
and since we applied a little bit too much resin at the beginning we are now trying to get it out so he's just putting some kitchen paper on top of the molds and all the fabric and just uses his uh, rubber roll again to to remove some resin You can see the paper soaking already here and you don't want to, to leave that paper on for too long, uh, just two minutes or so after rolling because otherwise you will, you will uh, get out too much resin and this will damage your surface. So he's removing the kitchen paper and he's making sure not to pull out the fabric out of the mold again. Now he's putting in the hinges. The hinges are still on the on the uh, paper where where he soaked them, and he's putting them in, them in place. He has a template for that again, so he he kn exactly knows where where the hinges will go. Same goes for the elevator hinge, and just to make sure that it's really well attached to the spread towel he's using a brush again and he has to to, to push the, the the brush he you you shouldn't you shouldn't really uh, do any other motion because you you're in the danger of um, moving the fabric again so now he's using um, resin again it was it's it's a, it has a little bit of black color in it and he's 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 um basically removing dust from the arex from his shell this way and also to um, to to get it to glue a little bit better onto the fabric so now he puts the arex in place you can see that it's slightly smaller than the mold is and he's um, yeah just making sure now that it won't move in the vacuum back later same goes for the wing you can see that he um, used two parts for the wing again for the Arex, you can basically puzzle as many pieces as you like uh, for your shell. So now he's putting on top uh, peel ply just to make sure that the next layer will not stick to the to the Arex. And now he's putting on top kitchen paper again and this will uh, get out the the rest of the resin that is that is not needed. So the resin will actually travel through the peel pie into the kitchen paper. Now he's putting the mold into the vacuum bag. He has some, some fabric underneath the mold and um, to make sure that vacuum is, is evenly distributed and you, as you can see he's now applying vacuum. And Alex is making sure that the, the vacuum bag uh, is not stretching too much. So he's, he's uh, moving it a little bit around. So this was the wing. Unfortunately, we were not able to film the fuselage. So thank you very much for viewing this video. If you want, you can take a look at the day two, which is the inner layer which also includes the fuselage. Thank you very much.